in your workout for the day. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lacey. For those of you who don't know, we are still adjusting life without Andrea. So we're getting used to a family of eight again. And we've basically tried to stay busy with projects this past week. And you know, like the fence over here that we started on and didn't even finish it. Well, let's just start there. What are you doing? Helping. Yeah. So the first task on our agenda was to get our goat pens finished. Our original pens were just supposed to be temporary and they were a bit of a pain to get in and out of. So we finally got the family together and rolled fence out to be stretched. It was of course an extremely hot day and no one really wanted to be out there, but we finally got it done. Also here in our homestead, we have to make our own shade. There are no trees here, so the kids made the goats a tent. Not everyone was thrilled about it. <laughs> We're done! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Moving on to number two, the second task. Something that has been on our minds, well, okay, wait, <laughs> maybe only my mind. It's to fix the walkway between the house and the shop. It becomes this huge mud hole anytime water hits it. Uh -uh. All right, I've got the black plastic in. We had so many helpers, despite the idea of us taking their mud hole away. And you know, I underestimated how much work really had to be done. The kids are troopers and they lifted up quite a few more stones than anticipated. If we stand right here, there's like no wind. No? You are filthy. Mm. We confiscated a marker from him earlier. Mm. A permanent one, so hopefully that'll wash off when we shower tonight. Ah! <laughs> I know. Ah! You're silly. Ah! But anyway, we're making progress. Thank you. We're making progress. We just have to get that side done. And it's not happening. I don't want your dirty fingers in my mouth. That's yucky. It was windy and hot, but as long as I had the sprinkler going, everyone was satisfied with helping, or really, Eli. <laughs> Eli was the best helper of that day. It's 100 degrees outside, and we are still not done with this project. We're almost to the point where all the rock, like the big rock, I'm is off strong. the trailer. I'm really strong. Eli over here, really strong guy, he's helping today. He's a, such a big helper. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Are you ready to finish? Yeah. And then we'll go jump in a pool. So since we're short on supplies, this is as far as we're going to go. It looks so good, guys. We'll put hey, some guys. bushes over there, maybe some lavender bushes. How cool. Thanks, guys, for helping. Yeah. 
So it only took two minutes before Austin predicted that they would become little ammunition and Emlyn threw rocks at somebody. So we got that going for us. Most, most people call that genius. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ed is exercising. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we gotta get a few more bags of this pea gravel and then this project will be done. What? Few. 30 more. Okay, 30 more. Just a few. boy size. Ooh, you almost <laughs> fell off. Cats. It's a touchy subject around here with my kids. We have had so many cats and we have a terrible time keeping them alive between shop doors, uh, vehicle runaways, and fertilizer. We have just a terrible time. And that's all Amelia wants is kittens on her farm. We want cats, we really do, because out here in the country you get mice. And we have seen mice running around here in the storage container and we really want some cats. And maybe we just want them too badly. <laughs> is that a thing? We now have three new kittens. They were all terrified about five days ago and now we've gotten two of them to become our friends. One of them is still holding out and not really wanting us to even come near it. You walk by, it hisses and wants to scratch you. So we kind of keep our distance from that guy, but two of them are now our friends and the kids are constantly trying to keep them friendly because they don't want them to revert back to their past personalities. So we're just hoping that they'll stick around. If anybody has any tips, please send them our way because we need all the help we can get to keep these kittens alive. All right, the last task was propagating tomato plants and I finally got them to grow. So before the last windstorm, I actually plucked some of the suckers off of there and plopped it in a jar of water and it started to grow. Look at all that, man. Last year I did this and it didn't happen, so I'm really pumped. So we're gonna plant some of these. <laughs> guys that's a glimpse of what we did this week a little bit of the projects that we were doing um, hopefully we can tame some kittens grow some tomatoes have some baby goats back there and finish our walkway because that really needs to happen especially since it's gonna storm tonight anyway we hope you enjoyed this video and we will catch you in the next one bye guys oh, Etta here do that and then your other hand. Good job. Now do it. On top of everything else, we cannot forget about the batch of baby chicks that just hatched and that we still have 12 hungry pigs to feed. Hey guys, make sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Which one? Down, up, I don't know. Pick one. Bye. You did a good job, Bob. So where do you put it? That's pretty cool, Bubba. Awesome. Go take it to Dad.